Welcome to this Nova Point road tutorial where we'll go through how we can create a roundabout, a road, and some trees. This will all be done from some existing data, including a ground service and some mapping information as well. First off, we need to start by joining our project. We can do that by going to the backstage menu in Quadri. And in my case, I'm going to go to join. This is because it's a connected project that was made on Trimble Connect. Now I can scroll down my list to Nova Point Training and press the join button. Give my work set a name or leave it as default and press OK. Now I'm only going to the join tab because this is my first time joining the model. If I already had an existing model that I had saved, I could go to the open tab. Also, if this was a local model, I would go to the open tab as well instead of join. Give that a second for the cloud model to sync with the local model. And here we are. In here, I've already got a structure set up and my explorer in the left hand side, including my in data, existing modeling, and everything else you'd expect for a simple project. First of all, let's start off by bringing in the data that we need. So in order to base a design off of something, we know that we need some mapping data and the ground surface as well. So I'm going to open up in data, select 101 tin, go to the insert tab at the top, port files. Now I'm going to give it a name as import tin data. Now my input section, I'm going to go to connections and Trimble Connect. This is because the data that I want to use is held in Trimble Connect. If it was locally, I would have pressed select files. Now in here, I need to choose the, choose the project that's applicable. I'm going to go into my folder down here and select ground surface and check my ground surfaces .xml and press open. Now I know that it's the same coordinate reference system. I can leave everything as default here and press OK. Now to quickly preview what I'm going to bring in here, I can press the preview button at the top and that'll give me an immediate 2D preview of what I can see. Not only that, if I look in the Explorer on the left hand side, I can also see below my actual model itself, it says files. In here, this is what's held in the temporary model before it fully comes into Nova Point. And I can see that I've got 14 features in here some boundaries and surfaces. Now, ideally, I would like things to be a single surface rather than multiple. So I'm going to sort that out later. Next step is to go to my conversion rules and convert by land XML object type. All this is going to do is bring in anything that is a 10 surface as my unspecified land cover area. Press select, OK, and finish. Now I've done that, if I want to see the result from that, I can right click and view in 3D. Here we can see our data delineation lines as well as the surfaces themselves. Now let's actually create the ground surface task that allows us to use it as a design base. As simply importing it like this isn't enough, we need to actually create a ground surface in Quadri. So first of all, I'm going to select where I want this to be held in my Explorer, so 201 ground surface. Now I'm going to select ground surface and I'll do ground surface complete. And for my elevation input, I'm going to go to my tasks and check import. Now, if I go across to the features button in here as well, I'm just going to keep selected my unspecified land cover area as I don't want to include my data delimitation lines and press close. Now I know that if I press finish now, this might result in multiple surfaces. So just to have a look, I'm going to right click and view in 3D on my finished task. And in here I can see it looks like I have one main one. However, there does seem to be two in here. And in the bottom left, I can go and see that it does in fact have some area. So ideally I want these to be merged. So I'm going to go into my settings. I'm going to go to Tim priority. I'm going to check fill small holes, save to task and then finish again. Now I can see that I just have one singular feature. I'll close out my view and go on to the next part, which will be importing the mapping data. 